what's up y'all welcome back to the channel for today's video as you can read the title we are going to be cooling down the civic with a skunk to radiator you know what I mean? That's what we have cooking up for today because tomorrow is my first SCCA autocross event. There's a local track that I guess recently became a track, not really, just like a, just like some cones in a parking lot type thing, but I never done uh, autocross in the Civic. I did it in the Integra, uh, I think once or twice. So I think it would be beneficial to getting some seat time for an affordable rate and just see what the car can do. A lot of locals are going out there, so why not show love to a local program? So. Hopefully then they'll see like, oh wow, maybe we should, you know, buy some land and build a road course. That'd be nice. That'd be really nice. Everything we do around here is alpha, baby. Whether it's from the injectors to god darn radiators, baby. And this is all made possible due to the great people over at Mod's Life. Have you heard of them? You haven't heard of them? Oh, it's okay. I'm here to shed some light. Mod's Life is an online retail store that sells everything that you may need for your vehicle, whether you have a Nissan or a Toyota, or if you're a Honda boy like us, then you are covered. I want you to know that. You're covered like State Farm. I think it's State Farm. I can't remember which one it is. Who says you're covered? Babe, who says you're covered? State Farm? Um, yeah, we have you covered. It's Allstate. Oh, Allstate? One of them. No, Allstate, you're in, you're in good hands. So who, has, who says I got you covered? Is it State Farm? So it is State Farm. One of them. Definitely not Geico. Geico saves you 15%. But I can save you better than 15% if you go right now to modslife.com and use discount code I love mods, you will save a thick old discount, baby. And you yourself can have your very own Skunk 2 Alpha Radiator for your 8th Gen Civic SI. I'll leave a link down in the description box below in case you're interested. Now let's get to installing this bad girl. If you're new here, this is the car that we're gonna be working on. This is my beautified, yes, my beautified 2007 Honda Civic SI converted to FD2 front and rear, blah, blah, blah. Got the hybrid wrap on it, swag, swag, swag. And this is what we're gonna be installing. She's pretty cool, but she's about to get a whole lot cooler today. So first up, we got the hood propped up. Now it's time to remove the bumper. Luckily for me, it's pretty much quick release set up. I didn't put my bump, my bolt back in, but it comes off like that. I'm waiting for my new bumper to come in. So I can finally get everything looking back nice. If you're new here, the primary purpose of this build is to be a time attack build. So slowly but sure I've been upgrading parts around the car that I don't want to have become a catastrophic failure later down in life. And one of those things is and one of those things that I'm going to replace in today is the radiator. And it's raining. Oh, come on. I just want to upload. Cry ugly. <laughs> so right here is the radiator, if you don't know. Um, it's pretty simple on what we're going to be doing. We got to basically uninstall the T-bracket. Well, it's not really a T-bracket, but the bracket that holds up the radiator and also the latch. So it's a couple 10 millimeter bolts. There's one here. There's one there. There's two up top. There's one here and there's one on the bottom and then you have one right there and then you have one right there and then you got then had one right there and then you got one right there. So there's a bunch of 10 mil bolts all scattered around the front and area of things. And I mean, once you look at it, if you're doing this by yourself, you'll see that it's pretty much straightforward what you gotta remove. You can actually keep the hood latch on here. You don't have to remove that. Just remove everything that's surrounding well, that's attached to this bar. And then once you have that off, drain the I'm gonna be draining my, I'm gonna be draining the coolant first and I don't even have cool in here is just wa distilled water so I can just let it flow on the driveway because it's just water water when you live in a climate like Florida just put on some water wetter some distilled water and you have cooler temperatures then maybe you would with coolant I'm not saying you know it's a whole stigma around that and also if you're on the track and you have a coolant spill or anything happening to where your coolant is cooling itself on the track that is very bad so it's always great to just run distilled water it's better for the track it'd be cost-effective for the track because you have to pay for that when they come clean up and all that stuff you have to pay for that so if it's just water it's just it'll dry up now 
to drain the coolant there's a like a pin not a pin but there's a plastic piece that you guys probably can't see yeah you guys can't see that oh yeah you can i'll zoom in on the my editing but well, there's a pin down there that you want to just screw loose and well unscrew obviously <laughs> and uh yeah start draining out the water and everything chip 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 all right so to make that flow out a little faster look how nasty my cap is i think i want to paint this while it's out too because this is just i need to make that look nice i'm gonna paint that and that and make that look like a nice white Dumb. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real And we was down and we had nothing, we had T-bracket is removed, I could really just remove it by loosening those three things To really get it out the way, but I don't think I would have to I think maybe I can just get away with it by like leaving it somewhere like that Which I'm sure I could, but I kinda wanna paint it But I don't have white paint right now I remove the top hose, bottom hose, all my hose gonna be gone Bye, bye you're gonna have your fan switch clips to remove. I just cut mine off from the location, so now my whole switches, well, my fan switch uh, switches, sensor connector plugs are right over here. Now I just gotta remove the bottom hose, and a radiator should just come up. We'll swap the fans from the ashy radiator to the new classy radiator. But this is a Honda OEM, so we ain't, we ain't, gonna, we ain't gonna disrespect it. We're not gonna disrespect my baby right here. You know what I mean? She held me down. But it's time to get hell back of you in. Don't forget, there's a ECT fan switch at the bottom of the radiator. So make sure you unplug that. And if you have to, snip the little uh, holding piece that holds it to the radiator itself. You'll see what I'm talking about once I pull it out. Because I just almost forgot that and I could have had a boo-boo. And I don't want a boo-boo. Homer Simpson face, lucky power plan. Yeah, I'm off that dope, like I'm back again. To this switch right here, there's a bracket that's actually on the radiator that holds itself in. You want to just make sure that put that back in there. You want to just make sure that you disconnect it from here, so you don't have any issues. But we have to take this off, this off, take the fans off, take this off, and then apply all this onto the new radiator. my skunk 2 alpha radiator uh courtesy of mods life i'm gonna give a huge shout out to them man i appreciate you guys thank you so much what we got to do now is install our oem fans install our lower radiator hose install our ect sensor install our well i guess this is our new drain plug so we ain't got to install nothing here but that's our new drain plug our filler neck jig from the oem unit and then our upper radiator hose but let's go ahead and start getting the fans and stuff on and get old girl back together I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's already raining. So, all right, so it stopped raining. Now it is time to put this back. Wow, this would be a nice time to get that mount installed. This would be like the perfect time to get that mount on. Cause I could just like, burp, turn it off, burp, 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 burp. but anywho, uh, stop raining. Let's put everything back together. And yeah, pretty much done. Bleed it, go for a drive, go buy some boxers. Close out today's video. Probably doing oil change too, cause I gotta gotta get this car oiled up for uh, the track day tomorrow. installed fairly quick process this will probably take you 15 to 20 minutes maybe less who knows now it is time to bleed the coolant the coolant man we gotta bleed the coolant yes amen we got to bleed we got to bleed the coolant i'm 
fortunately for me, I only had one jug left of distilled water, so we have to go on the road. This is useful information. I could have just went out and got the water. Y'all didn't even know how to do it, but it's time to tell y'all to fill up, make a little filler content so I could drag out the video a little bit more so y'all can be like, oh my God, so I upload. Mm -hmm. This right here, you want this. This right here is the bee's knees. Now, to make sure that everything is copacetic, let's go for a drive to Walmart to buy some cookies. Let's go for a drive and see where our cooling temps be. It better not blow up? I no. Hope not. I hope not. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't think I did a good job. <laughs> I'm already overheating. See, that's why you want to go for the drive, just to see. So I probably got to go back and re-bleed. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go back and re-bleed. This is why you check, everybody. This is why you check. It may look good stagnant, but once the cap go on and all that other foolishness, yeah, let's go home and reboot. God dang it, see, I'm, I'm glad I did this. I'm glad me did this. I uh, figured out the problem with the Civic. My thermostat took a poop. The lower hose is not getting hot at all. It's like brick. It's cold, it's not getting hot. But I turn the heat on, that's when it like somehow sends, I, bro, it's weird, I, I have no idea. So what I'm gonna do now is just remove the thermostat for now and then go buy an OEM one later down the road. But I'm in, I'm in Florida, so no, no thermostat is not that bad. So I'm just gonna remove it and then re-bleed it and then I went ahead and removed the T-bar, removed the thermostat right here, and I'm just gonna put it back in, and then when I order my OEM one, I'll put the OEM back in, and then, you know, we'll have a thermostat again. But if the car runs a little bit better or cooler or whatever, I do live in Florida, a lot of people in Florida do not run thermostat. And when I do plan on doing time attack um, stuff in the near future, next year, and maybe colder climates or whatever, then, you know, that's why the thermostat would probably come into play, because if your car runs too cool, that can danger some things, so. It's going to be 10 degrees cooler, and when I'm driving, it's going to go to like the 170s, maybe 160s, depending on how hard I'm thrashing. But all in all, it's bled. I have no thermostat, so this is what I got right now. It's going to keep going up and down, but it's not, it's not going to do what it did before. But it's pretty much bled. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to keep bleeding, get some bubbles out. I wish I could like rev it and stuff, but it's already been late at night. It's like 10 o'clock. I'm supposed to upload today on a Saturday, but you guys are probably watching this on a Sunday, and we'll see how good or bad my autocross event went. Hopefully it did pretty good. I didn't do an oil change. I didn't place my brake pass to something with something of more grip, so uh, I didn't get an alignment, but it should just be fun. You know what I mean? We're going out there for fun. 190, there we go. To start like fizzling and bubbling, we're good. I'm gonna let it bleed for like another 15 20 minutes, clean up all this stuff, and then we're done for the day. All right, let's see what she does.
that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Skunk 2 Alpha radiator install. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, I got my radiator at modslife.com. And be sure and be in the know that Mods Life have over 500,000 products on their website and over 6,000 products. 60,000 products are in stock at this very moment. And when you find that part you were looking for, be sure to use promo code I Love Mods to save some monies. Who don't want to save some monies? So we had a little bump in the road, but overall successful video, successful install. Everything is mwah, muy caliente or hace frío. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one with the track day footage. I'm out. Peace.